Hello friends, welcome back to G-Centric. So in this lecture, we will move on to Kirchhoff's voltage law. So in Kirchhoff's uh, laws, we have this second law that is Kirchhoff's voltage law. So how do we define this Kirchhoff, Kirchhoff's voltage law? So we will take KVL is nothing but in any lumped network. So in any lumped network, the algebraic sum of the algebraic sum of voltages in a closed path in a closed path at any given time t at any given time t is equal to 0 is equal to 0. So, this is the definition of the Kirchhoff's voltage law. So, basically it states that in any lumped network, so what type of network? It must be lumped network, the algebraic sum of voltages in a closed path at any time t is equal to 0. So, what does this statement mean? We will take a circuit diagram to understand this one. Okay, first we will take a resistor, inductor and a capacitor okay. and here we will take the voltage source plus minus V. Now we have got resistor, inductor and capacitor. So this is a closed path, so current will be flowing in this path. So we know that and we will mark this first uh, sign conventions plus minus plus minus plus minus. So who will decide the direction of the this type of signs? It is the current. So basically now when we have taken this as positive terminal then the current must enter here enter at positive terminal ok. So this is the current I total current I flowing in this loop ok. Now we know that there will be voltage drop across each element resistor, inductor and capacitor. They are passive elements and energy absorbing elements. So what will be the voltage drop across R? We will take it as Vr and voltage drop across inductor is Vl and voltage drop across capacitor is Vc. Okay. So now since we have also seen KCL sign convention, if uh, the current is coming towards the node, we have taken it as positive. If it is going away from the node, we have taken it as negative. Similarly, for K will also we will follow the sign convention. So uh, I will be considering the sign convention. We, let me first mark the direction of current. If the, direct, uh, if the current is circulating in this way, so when I enter, when I leave this terminal, it is a positive sign. So current is flowing in this direction. I will take the sign where the current leaves the terminal. So the current is leaving the positive terminal. So I will take it as plus V. Now here if current is flowing and leaving the negative terminal of the resistor. So I will take minus Vr. Similarly here also the current is leaving the negative terminal. So the, pos uh, the pol polarity of this Vl will be minus Vl. Okay. Similarly for capacitor the current is leaving the negative terminal. So what this must be equal to? It must be equal to 0. So the algebraic sum of voltage in a closed path should be equal to 0. Okay. So we will write it as V is equal to Vr plus Vl plus Vc. So it is nothing but the source voltage is equal to the voltage drop across the elements in this closed path. Okay. Now, we can write this as even W upon Q that is the definition of voltage okay the work done in moving a unit positive charge from infinity to some reference point okay so we can write it as W upon Q now this is equal to WR upon Q charge will be same at any time given time t okay then WL upon Q plus Wc upon Q. Okay. Now what we will get? We will cancel out all the charges. We get 
W is equal to WR upon WL plus WC. So what does this follow? This follows the law of conservation of charge. So what does KVL follow? KVL follows the follows the conservation of conservation of energy. What was KCL following? It was following the conservation of charges. Okay. So what does this law mean? It basically the, the energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Okay. So this is the this is all about the KVL. So the important point to note here is that current decides the the direction of current decides the polarity of the resistor, inductor and capacitor. Okay. So voltage source is the active element. So it has to leave the positive terminal. Okay. So we will understand better by taking few problems. So now we will move on to the problems. Okay, we will move on to the first problem that is we need to find the current I in the circuit. Okay, so they have given a loop, a closed plug. So we need to find the I. Okay, so the direction of I is in this way, it is leaving the source voltage. So it has to enter into the positive terminal because resistor is a passive element. Okay, so just a minute, I will find the value of this one. It is given as 22 volts. Okay, so this is 22 volt. So we have to find the current I in the circuit. Now this is plus minus, since it is a single loop, so all the current I will be flowing in the circuit and the value of current will be same. Okay, so now current I again flows here. It is plus minus again uh, the uh, current enters in the positive terminal and leaves the positive terminal. Okay, so this is again same. Okay, here it is I. Okay, then current here is here. Then again current will flow in this direction. Okay, so this is the direction of current. Okay, so we need to find the I in the circuit. So we will apply the KVL. Now up for applying KVL we know the sign convention. So I am taking the one that current is leaving the terminal. So the current is leaving the positive terminal of the voltage source. So I will take plus 30 then minus. So here if we have to find the voltage it is nothing but V is equal to I into R. So I, I we do not know R, but R we know. So it is nothing but 1 I. Okay. Then plus 22 current is leaving through the positive terminal then minus again 2i here also you need to apply ohm's law then it is leaving the negative terminal of the voltage source so minus 8 here also minus 3i this is leaving the positive terminal plus 6 volt and minus 4i which is equal to 0 okay so we will solve it for so this we will just take 6 volts Okay, uh, so 1i, 3i, 6i and minus 10i plus 30 plus 52 then 58 minus 8 we will get minus 50 then i value is equal to 5 amperes. Okay, so this is the solution for the current value. Okay. Now, if uh, this circuit, the same current will flow in the circuit only when there is single loop given. Okay. If there is any other loop connected over this side, suppose if there is one more resistance here, then you cannot calculate the value of I. So, there is another different method we will see in the next upcoming lectures. Okay. So, when it is not given only, if the other loop is not given, that is only single loop, then you can apply this method. So, we will move on to the next question. This was asked in gate 2007 for the electronics and communication branch. So, they have asked us to find E. So, uh, what we can do is, we know that they have given here it as 0 volt. So, we know the potential of ground it is 0 volt. So, basically this part is grounded. Now, similarly here also they have given 10 volts. So, what we can do is, we can this is plus 10 volts if nothing is given it means that it is positive. So what we will do? We will add a voltage source of plus minus 10 volts. Okay. We can, 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 we can do this right. Okay. So plus minus 10 volts this positive because they had given plus 10 volts. So positive indicates the 
sign of this node. Now this is also 0 volt, this is also 0 volt. So we can connect them, they have the same potential. Okay. So now this acts as the closed path. Now in any direction, whichever direction I want, I can take the direction of current. So let us take the direction of current in this way. So now when applying here, we can calculate the value of E. Okay. So current is leaving this positive terminal. So I will write plus E then leaving the negative uh, positive terminal. So plus 1 volt. So this is 0 volt. Then again here it is plus 10 volts and plus 5 volt which is equal to 0 volts. Now this 10, 15. So value of E is minus 16 volts. Okay. So this is the simple answer for this one. Now suppose if they had asked to calculate the value of V1 and value of V2. So how would we do that one? So here it is 0 volt. So we do not know the value of V2. Since as we have done here, we can also replace it with the voltage source plus minus V2. Now these two terminals are same voltage. So we can make it a closed path. In any direction you can take the direction of current. So now what we will get? It is moving in this direction plus 2 minus V2 and minus 1 equal to 0. So what is the value of V2? It is nothing but 1 volt. Okay. Similarly, we can find the value of V1. I can again draw it with the voltage source. Okay, V1. Now this is grounded. So this, this is the closed path. Either I can use this loop or this loop. Okay. You will get the same answer. So if this is the direction of current, then it is leaving the positive terminal of V1, then 4 volts, then minus 5 volt, then minus 10 volt equal to 0. So the value of one is V1 is 11 volts. Okay. So in this way, we can find the value of V1, V2 and E. So next time whenever you encounter like this, when the voltage source is not given, just they have given 10 volts, then it means that it is a voltage source with the sign they have given. So it is positive, first you will take positive, then negative. Okay. So we will move on to the problem, third problem. So they have asked us to calculate the value of this V. So what do we need to find? Find V. So now in this terminal, in this circuit, we can apply KVL. Okay. So we do not know voltage across this, but still what we can do, this is parallelly convert, uh, connected to this 4 volt source. So whatever voltage is here, it appears here also. That is nothing but plus minus 4 volts. Okay. Now since this both the potential are same, what we can do is we can neglect this branch and apply KVL in this way. You can apply KVL in this way also or you can take the whole loop. Okay. So now considering the larger one, so current is leaving the positive terminal 5 volt minus 4 then minus 4 then minus sorry this is plus V is equal to 0. So minus 4 minus 4 is minus 8 plus 5 is minus 3 so V is equal to 3 volt. So it is the option A. Okay. So here well, there is a concept that if uh, if there is a branch or uh, a resistor connected across the ideal voltage source, then this branch can be neglected when it is connected in parallel. So when we will learn the equivalent resistance, we will learn this point again. Okay. So we will move on to the next problem. Okay. We will move on to our next question that is fourth one. They have asked us to find the value of V. Okay. So we will apply the KVL. They have given some network. Okay. So we will apply in this direction. So what we will get? It is, so if it is 2 amperes, it is in a single loop, even 2 ampere current flows in this direction. So if current flows here, the positive terminal will be here and negative terminal will be this side. Okay. Then I. So what we will take? Plus V then minus voltage is 2 times 2 so there will be 4 volt drop across this resistor okay so they applying the ohms law v is equal to ir okay so that is minus 4 volt minus 5 volt 
okay, is equal to 0. So, V is equal to 9 volt. But this is not the right answer. That is because we do not know the voltage drop across 2 ampere current source. So, they have given insufficient data. Okay. So, first of all we need to see which are all the voltage drops. We have two unknowns here. One is V and the one is voltage drop across the 2, 2 ampere source. We do not know two unknowns. Sorry, we have two unknowns only, only one equation. Okay, so, we, the, this problem answer is that the data is insufficient or it cannot be solved. So, coming to the next question, fifth one, we have to determine I naught. So, they have given I naught here and here it is a dependent voltage source. So, what type of dependent voltage source it is? It is the current dependent voltage source. It is depending on the value of I naught and the I naught is here. So, when they have given the direction of I naught, so, it becomes plus minus and the current is entering the positive term. Now, we can apply the KVL. So, in this direction we will get plus 36 then minus 4 I naught minus 5 I naught equal to 0. So, 9 I naught is equal to 36 and I naught is equal to 4 amperes. Okay? So, this is the answer for the solution. So, answer for the problem. So, in the next lecture, we will solve some more problems. Okay? Thank you.